वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मैकेनिकल मैजिक मैकेनिकल लर्निंग टूटोरियल्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कसिंग विद द सॉलिडिफिकेशन ऑफ मेटल्स एंड बेसिकली ओनली फॉर द प्योर मेटल्स विच इज कंसिडरिंग एज अ हंड्रेड परसेंट प्योर मेटल सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद सॉलिडिफिकेशन ऑफ प्योर मेटल्स so x axis y axis so x axis representing time y axis representing as a temperature so that will be plotting a graph between temperature and time and it will be said to be a cooling curve of pure metal so according to the melting point of metal that will be at higher temperature point a so point a to point number b that will be the solidification process so higher temperature or you can say above melting point of your metal that will be in the phase of liquid or you can say the 100% liquid so at point number b formation of nucle so it will be the starting point of solidification or you can say freezing point of metal so in the case of pure metal it will be depends upon the melting point and you can say the freezing point melting point is nothing but temperature at which solid phase of material converting into the liquid and freezing point means liquid phase of metals converting into solids said so b point that will be representing as a starting point of solidification so b to c process that will be representing as a melting point of metal a so that nucle having of growth and it will be converting into 100% solid so in between b to c process total 100% liquid it will be converting 100% solid at point number c after that once again the temperature is reducing with respect to time so it forms 100% solids so now that nuclei it will be transforming into different grains and grain boundaries so one grain it will be differs from the another grain with respect to the number of atoms with respect to the orientation with respect to the characteristics and that will be separated by the grain boundaries so the total characteristics of the material that will be depends upon grains and grain boundary if it will be finding the finer grains and more grain boundaries so that material having a good characteristics but actually what happen in the case of only pure metal at point b it will be having a difficulties for to formation of a nucle so at that time of solidification process from a point to b point just it will be touch the b point you have to apply some super cooling temperature effect so that super cooling it will be generation or can say starting point of the solidification process so in that super cooling yes you can apply the below temperature than the melting point so that refers to starting of a nucle generation and due to the latent heat it will be present into the remaining atoms once again it will be increasing up to the melting point of metal a just you can see from the diagram at point number b super cooling temperature so that will be reducing the temperature at near to the point b so that will be help to generating or can say starting of a formation of nuclei one more thing that will be also proved by the gibbs phase rule so gibbs phase rule means gibbs deriving some relation of phase degree of freedom component systems so p plus f equal to c plus 2 in that case it will be having a three variables like temperature 
pressure and compositions but each and every time at constant pressure so that gives rules it will be modified so that will be p plus f equal to c plus 1 so for the region a to b p plus f equal to c plus 1 p means number of phases present a to b process so here it will be the 100 percent liquid so one phrase plus f means degree of freedom equal to component here it will be the pure metal so single component system so that means 1 plus 1 so finally f is equal to 1 that means what thus the temperature is changing without changing the liquid phase so a to b it will be 100 percent liquid just temperature is decreasing up to the melting point of particular metals for the region b to c p plus f equal to c plus 1 so from b point to c point it will be the complete solidification process so it will be having a liquid plus solid so two phase plus f that will be equal to c plus 1 because of the pure metal single component system so f is equal to 0 that means what there is no variables so temperature remains constant so you can say the constant temperature solidification process so at that temperature starting point of the solidification and end point of the solidifications after that c to d process p plus f equal to c plus 1 phase is 1 because of only solids or you can say 100 percent solid form so f is equal to 1 so just temperature is changing without changing the solid phase so that pure metal behavior that will be also validated by the Gibbs phase rule so f is equal to 1 if you like it then subscribe like share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials